right, so here I am. I just got here. I'm going to check in and let's see how this goes, how this room is. Let's check it out. So we got our little place here. We can make some coffee here. Have this thing right here. I don't know what this is for. Maybe washing your utensils or whatever. I don't need to wash anything. So here is a pretty decent bed. Got this little space for, you know, working. Uh, it's gonna be really important for making that next day edit. Uh, really looking forward to this. Got a roller chair here. Nice little table, even a TV, but today it won't be a TV day. It's kind of weird that's just facing this the chair instead of the bed, which I find weird. But there's more to this, and I don't think this basically doesn't face anywhere. Maybe the mirror, I don't know. There's like another place to wash your hands and stuff. I think that's a better place to wash your hands after you come out of the bathroom, which is right there. Bathroom is decent. Not gonna do a bathroom tour. Here's a little closet. Um, nice. And probably the best, best little, you know, that little part of a hotel room that makes it a lot better. It's probably this thing right here, which is nothing that special. It's a damn sofa and it's just there. Um, I think that just makes this room just from here to like here, just increases the level a little bit. So I think it's a decent room actually for one person or two people, couple, whatever, um, if you have only one bed. It's a nice little room, uh, Hampton Inn. I'd give you about a 3.5, 3 maybe a three out of five. Um, yeah, not bad, not the best either, but good for one night. So I think this is one of the things that I really like about a hotel room is that they have some really, really good lighting for their mirrors. And um, because of this little light here, I'm like really nicely lighting up. And this little thing here, it's just, it's just clean. So this is like my um, obsession with cleanliness and having, you know, perfect lighting in this kind of scenario. It just makes the person look a lot better in my sense. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna get some real good work done here. But um, you can call this video a quick little uh, review for this little microphone I've been using. So this is a lavalier microphone. Um, you're probably wondering why I have it here instead of having it up here in my collar or you know, something above here, it's because of my beard. Why I would keep it here is if this was up here and my dhari, as you can see, my head is shaking around a lot. With that said, um, a lot of the times I would be doing this, that, like I'll be hitting my microphone. Yeah, pretty annoying, right? So to avoid that, um, I just clipped it down here. Um, it's just clear from any of this. So even if I'm bending down or anything, it, it's like a safe spot. The audio does become better once you start going up closer to your mouth, but um, just for this instance, uh, just for my purposes, I think this will be fine. Uh, this is a wireless microphone, so I don't have to go in the post and actually be connecting anything. So that's a perk of having, you know, a microphone that's connected to your camera and then wirelessly connected to my pocket. So this is a lavalier microphone and I have a wire going underneath my shirt all the way down to this little transmitter here. Um, so it basically picks up everything. Um, the good thing about this microphone is that I don't actually need this level to your microphone. So not only is this a good way, you know, to record audio, but let's just say that if I didn't have this microphone at all, um, what I could do literally just take this wire out and I would use this as a microphone. So if possible, you can just put it right here. Um, it might just be slightly big for you like normal they use. Uh, it's not that easy to hide uh, as this is pretty small and everyone knows this is a microphone. Um, on the comparison side, when you have this, um, it would actually be like, you know, a really big microphone and all the audio from this whole video is actually shot with these two microphones. So at this moment, you're hearing the voices coming out of this microphone right here. Um, 
normally you only need these two microphones but um so yeah let me just show you the other side of it i'm just gonna put this back in so the stationary and then you guys could hear whatever i am saying right now and i'm just gonna put this right there so this little thing is actually not the microphone it's just a transmitter that transmits the microphone that i was showing you earlier um or this little guy right here on my shirt um so basically what this will do is it will you know connect to your camera through the aux cable you can go in and um, change the settings um, you have a power button here uh, you have decibels and then you have a connection but a button um, i don't actually need the connection button just because you know everything is already set up and once you turn it on they're already connected and there's a decibel button which basically means that how high or how low do i want the volume of this thing going uh, I just like to keep it at the lowest setting. Uh, supposedly there's, there's only three settings for that volume, so you can't really do much out of it, but uh, if you keep it at the lowest, you can change it up in the post and have a lot of flexibility with that. Uh, meanwhile, if you keep it too loud, um, I'll just do that right now. So this is at full volume, and then you can see that my volume is just way high up there. And what happens with this is usually um, it will be hitting the red spot a lot. So it's like overexposed image for those photographers out there. And then you're trying to underexpose that and you lose a lot of depth in that whole uh, volume or that image if you're talking about photography or if you're talking about, you know, just the audio. So I'm going to put this back down. So this was my quick little video on, you know, this little microphone. Uh, if you guys liked it, make sure to hit that thumbs up and make sure to subscribe and, you know, share and do all the good things. Um, yeah, so this was a quick little vlog for me. Uh, I'm going to get to bed and pause it.